My mother would uh, get beaten until she bleeds. And it was so bad for me to, to try to understand why is my father doing that to, my, to the woman he says he loves. We had the first signal of a gunshot. I'm so like, pow! So, and being a refugee, we already know when you hear those things, it's frightening because you know exactly how you came and what made you come. While I knew he was ill, I don't think that I myself engaged myself with how ill he was. And it was certainly a great surprise to me when I got the phone call one night to say that he had died. You would just find that now you've started your menstruation and uh, when you come from the bush after two weeks uh, uh, with the old people being told how to look after yourself and all these things, you go back home, you are already told, being told this is going to be your husband. Those who attempted to run away from the line, could be, they, they just shot them, you see them fighting for life. A lot of my guilt was, you know, how could I not have appreciated the crisis that my own son was in? Maybe I have been too busy getting on with my own life. Having discussions with women's rights advocates in Brazil, we said, okay, we can enact a law that makes violence against women illegal. And we can try to figure out what we do with men so that we end the impunity. But we don't have space in jail to put aside or to lock up 26% of Brazilian men. You guys, you men, who say you're allies with the women's rights movement, go out there and figure out what to do with men. Let us first work with those who perhaps in their silence are unknowingly or unwittingly endorsing violence. These are the men who are going out to say, hey, it's okay to be HIV positive. It's okay to test and find you have a result and you can still live if you take treatment. You know what one older men said? Thank you very much. You should come often to our communities and invite as many men as possible because when I came here, I was a blind man. Now I'm going back home as a man who can see. The whole men, what about us thing. Fundamentally, it's, it's, it's instrumentalist. It's like we want equality because we want to deal with HIV and AIDS, because we want to stop violence against, not we want equality because that's what we believe. If our relationships as adults break down, we've still got a responsibility to those children that are born from us. We come and we observe and we participate with hope. I think things are changing. The world is changing. My, my actual focus is to change the mindset of men, the way we look at things, the way we do things. And let us know that this planet Earth and Sierra Leone and Africa and the world at large is not just built for men alone.